Hello, thank you for joining me. I've swapped over to the other side of the summer house because I was getting completely dazzled as the sun was gradually going down. And I didn't at the end say a huge great big thanks to Sue for the poems. I will include that in the title though. But what I'm talking about or going to talk about now was something suggested by one of our subscribers who's out in Australia and she asked what my thoughts were on this and this is um, that they have an are you okay day in Australia okay <laughs> she asked what I thought so I think it's a good idea, but if you ask the question, you've got to be prepared for the answer. And here in UK, probably a couple of years ago, maybe a bit more, I can't remember if it was before or after COVID, there was an initiative put around um, suicide support. And now, I'm hoping that YouTube will allow that one through. Um, I've worked in this field for many years and it is difficult. You have to tread very carefully and you, you have to be aware of how it's affecting you as well. So... As with the Oz thing, just getting public to make any form of intervention, I think that can be risky, unless they're knowing what they're doing. Because if you suddenly have somebody blurting out saying, yes, I want to unlive myself, then you could go, uh, oh, right, okay. If they say, no, I'm not okay, I feel in a dreadful state, where do you go from there? Do you fling in with, okay, so what's the matter? Maybe they're not ready to share that. It's very carefully worded intervention that's needed. So... It does give me some concern. I don't know how you would feel if you said to somebody, are you okay? And instead of the, yeah, I'm fine, they said, no, I feel the total pits and I don't know what to do. Would you know where to go with that? I mean, from my point of view, the best thing is just to listen, just to be there and that feels supportive for the person. Have the courage to remain quiet. You might feel that you need to fill in the space with words, but quiet, so long as you don't start looking around looking at your watch, that you're giving yourself your time completely to that person, but not staring at them so that they, they feel uncomfortable. It's, it's really feeling what feels okay for you and hoping that what's okay for you is okay for the other person. For some people that comes naturally and for others it doesn't. Then there's touch. Do you put an arm around them? Do you hold their hand? Some people like touch, some people don't. So it would be a good idea to say, you know, would you like me to put my arm around your shoulder? If they're crying then 
it's more natural to be able to do that. But again, they need to feel in control. You're not taking control of the situation. You are there to aid them, to help them. So in answer to the question, it's a, a yes, but. <laughs> yes, I think it's good if people are asking the question so long as they know how to handle an answer. Do they have contact numbers? Do they have contact numbers for the equivalent of the Samaritans? I, I don't know what there is available in Australia or any other countries. Having that contact number and being able to give it, maybe being able to say, you know, would you like to use my phone to give them a ring? Or do you want to get home? Shall I walk with you? Would that be all right with you? You need to keep that checking. Is that all right with you? So that's, I don't want to go into it any too deeply other than to say I, for several Christmases, I, I worked on a, a care line on our Manchester television. And for two years, I had calls that lasted for four hours and each was somebody who was about to unlive themselves. So you could be committing to quite a bit of time. So it's something you need to be aware of. And I'm just going to finish with a, a butterfly analogy. Having read about butterflies a few moments ago, this was another one given by one of our subscribers. And there was a butterfly struggling to get out of its chrysalis. A passerby saw it and saw it struggling and opened the chrysalis to free the butterfly inside. Unfortunately, the butterfly fell and couldn't fly because the struggle that gives sorry, I, I couldn't see them, my eyes went crossed. The struggle that gives the necessary strength to the wings had been removed. So sometimes we have to struggle and sometimes if we intervene <clears throat> we need to know what we're doing with that intervention so that we're not going against what is really needed. So sorry about that but combination of reading without my glasses on and scribbly scrawly writing. <laughs> oh, hey -ho. right. On that note, I'm going to go for a, a little walk. I don't know if I'll be able to record. It's, it's windy, but if I can, I will do. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate you all being around. It means so very much. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.